today we're off on a um, just going to a festival with a car show um, it is a weekend event normally and um, cars are just on the Sunday we try to uh, represent the local shows as much as we can so we'll make our way out we're going in the 1934 hot rod let's just uh, open the door
do have them in, but I think you'll find that a majority of them don't. Because we like living life on the edge. We live life on the edge if you're a hot body. <laughs> so they say. It's quite funny, really. Just starting to spit my rain there. Uh -huh. It's a little bit on the windscreen. The trouble is, when it rains, it does put a lot of people off. Ten year losses on the back there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> One can of morning. Yeah. 
night. So this is 
the weather. Not very nice. Going over speed bumps. At the we minute. are going over speed bumps. So again, because the car's all lowered, we do have to be careful. You're probably thinking, don't they have window wipers? We do. They are very tiny. Well, we've only got one. Well, we have one window wiper just here. Look, and it's in next the to my finger. It's just a little bit longer than my finger. Yeah, it's not many. It's not many inches. Not very big. So but it keeps, it keeps the driver's side clear. So what we do, we put Rain-X on the window and for, for a start it starts beading like it is at the minute and then um, after a while it just runs off like you've got your window on. So. Sorry, we're going over speed bumps so it's very difficult to keep it still. Anyway, I don't think you need to see any more rain. No. There's Ken, just going, he kindly waved for us to make sure that we was uh, able to get home safe. So if you was wondering what the beeping is, I'll put a little buzzer on the indicators so you can hear physically here when the indicator's wrong because my indicators is a switch under a dashboard that you can't actually see but I can't actually see if my indicators are on or off. Before I put the buzzers everybody used to be flashing me telling me I've left my indicators on. See what happens as you get older and things change. Yeah. It's nice, Ian's taken the 34 out of the garage and uh, just given it a little clean, but I think we're nearly there, are we? Yeah, it's done. All done? Yeah, all done. It's, um, it don't take a lot of cleaning because there's that much wax on it. I've just got to wipe it over with a damp cloth and go over with, with my polishing towel. But, uh, might as well show, show around while we're here. Yep, okay. Right. We'll have a look under the bonnet, shall yeah, we? Important the bit that makes it go. So, what have we got under here? So this is a. It's actually a Range Rover 3.9 V8. Um, it's coupled up to a um, LT77 gearbox which is, um, if you can remember the old Rover um, SD1s, or SDIs as some people used to call them, the three and a half litre version of that, that's what the um, gearbox is. So it gives you a, a V8 of a five speed gearbox basically. Um, Does that make it go faster? It's just, it's a little bit quicker. I like manuals anyway. Um, it needs a bit of detail if I'm honest. I, when we put the, we put this engine in about five years ago, mm, I think. Five, six years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was it was absolutely mint then, but I mean it's still quite clean and tidy, but it's not it's not show standard at the minute. So I think he and the other day showed you how to open the door um, but it'll just show you get your fingers close to it and you got a click and it'll open <laughs> just like magic and oh. we've got a train in the background or you could use a key fob <laughs> <laughs> so we we've we've got a, a little stereo just inside, just there. It sounds pretty good, I think. Which isn't too bad. Not that you can hear much of anything when you're in there. So, should we just have a little look at the um, boot? Oh, what about the exhaust? Yeah, they're pretty unique to this vehicle. I can't see them yet. So, you've got one that side. On that side, 
And then, not a massive boot. Ah, oh, but it's all right. But uh, big enough. Oh, look what's hiding behind here, look. Yeah, wonder what that is. <laughs> We're now going to put the um, car away in the garage while the sun's shining. That's the 34 put away. Um, Ian's now coming, I think, to um, say <laughs> cheerio. Cheerio. See you next time. <laughs>